so today was a special video today we go and we do go kind for the first time on record i um i'm a quite of a how can i put it i'm a petrol head you guys probably already know this you know what i mean my videos are always about cars occasionally should i say but yeah um go kind has always been with me and i used to do every thursday every thursday when i was little but obviously back then we didn't have youtube and we didn't really have the correct funding for me to i can say progress onto the next level of um go kind but back then yo listen i was light and all that but yo man man could do the test you know i was quick i was shifty but obviously as i get older and taller and heavier you know what i mean it kind of uh kind of takes a toll on me but today yeah we um we go go karting we go back to go karting and we literally show everyone including staff members and we just blow them out of the water so yeah um hope you enjoyed this video on uh yeah right here we are waiting for the steward to give us the green light onto the track and to be honest this race was um it was pretty good it was pretty good i can't lie i enjoyed it and um there wasn't there wasn't a lot of people on the track actually it was a uh, it's pretty quiet in this race but in the next race there was quite a lot of people including staff members so yep he gives me the green light here well i'd say green light from him but it was still yellow light you know what i mean warming up those tires i don't think i did it enough <laughs> it was kind of like a mini one but yeah um just taking our time obviously you gotta go full gas up here otherwise you get stuck but um yeah you know what this car to be honest it felt too powerful and it didn't really like to turn into the corners as much as i'd like it to but you, know, you have to make do with what you got as you can see i was kind of sliding there and um see i feel like i'm taking this corner a little too wide and then i'll see it was a red light which means that we had to uh you know fully smash into the pedals but yeah i got rear-ended but you know gave him the thumbs up telling him it's all right we uh, kept on going straight into it green light nice and neat around here clipped it a little bit it's not that bad it was a bit wider in the turnings and uh yeah a little bit of oversteer right there which kind of caused me to go wide so um yeah nice and nice and gently around here as you'll see in this video i kind of with the straight you may see me approach it differently and i was obviously trying to get the the good feeling for the car and I'll see the correct drive line on the straight so I can uh, I'll see get maximum speed uh, onto the exit. There we go. This tires all squeaky. <laughs> you know what I would like to try? I would like to try the uh, electric go karts. You know what I mean? The instant torque is absolutely crazy. So um, yeah, it's definitely on the bucket list. That wasn't so bad. Just a little loss of power. Just fighting the steering wheel and with this car I always have to go wide because the amount of power this thing has and it's so hard to turn this car it was actually really hard the hardest car I've ever had, like tried to turn you know what I mean and I always have to let go of the gas there like there usually in the normal cars you, you can just go flat out maybe it's the way I'm approaching it but realistically I know that turn off the back of my head you know what I mean so um <laughs> yeah I don't know if that was something to do with the tire pressure or something, but yeah, man, that was a, it was a bit of a tricky, tricky one right there. I took that very wide, but to be honest, that wasn't so bad coming out onto the exit. I feel like if I hug it a little bit more, let go of the gas, I feel like I'll shave off a, a few milliseconds. But obviously, with these turns, if you shave off a few milliseconds on each turn, you know it kind of does make a big difference. So um, yep, onto the straight. As you can see, I kind of hug it a bit more, but which kind of makes me get off the gas a little bit um this wasn't so bad but obviously you can hear it as well when i let go of the gas it was a little little slight one which i've which i've realized now yeah with that turn if you can kind of drift your way into the turn it's a lot better than getting off the gas and turning into the, the thingy if you can drift and stay stay in power it's beautiful it feels nice to you can't lie it really does but that depends what car you have to be honest with this one because not all of them are the same you know what i mean so um some have the ups and downs and then some are just like perfect in every way but you know what what i might do in um, future videos i might ask one of the stewards and uh give him like give me uh, give me his opinion on like what the best car is you know what i mean see so if i can get it <laughs> would be pretty nice can't lie and obviously here we go nice and neat um 
kind of, I can put, I wouldn't call it a power slide, that was more of an uncontrollable drift. So, um, yeah, it's all about front response, balancing front on the brake. You know what I mean? I'm a big dude in these carts, so I, I'll, sometimes I accidentally hit the brake, which kind of causes me to, you know, lose, um, lose seconds. Yeah, seconds, not many seconds, seconds. Because obviously the carts are not built for me. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of unfortunate, I can't lie. There we go. Yeah, what, this is what I mean by me being so big with the carts. I look at my legs, <laughs> it just it explains it all. And um, yeah, I've been looking at the British indoor karting licenses actually, and um, I'm actually a middleweight. I thought I'd be heavyweight due to how big I am and how tall I am, but yeah, I'm middleweight, which is crazy. Heavyweight is, um, I think the minimum was 90 kilograms, which does kind of do, like, it, it does sound heavy, you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm middleweight, and I literally just hit middleweight. <laughs> if I was, if I, how can I put it? If I was a little, little bit lighter, I would have been in lightweight, and you know what I mean? I would have, I would have struggled, because there would have been people who are just like really, really, really light, and probably young that have been doing go cutting their whole life, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, I kind of would have, would have struggled with that, but you know, I'm glad. If I'm, if I'm bare minimum for middleweight, then middleweight races, realistically, should be in my favour. But um, yeah, definitely, definitely going to be doing more races. I kind of prefer races more than um, the time ones because yeah, times kind of show how fast you are around the track when nobody's there. But I feel like I I race better when there's how can I put it when there's someone to chase. You know what I mean? I, I race better. So um, yeah, races are definitely more for me than uh, time trials. Wasn't so bad around that corner. How do I take this corner? Clipped it a little bit. I should have uh, kind of went on that outside, or kind of to outside instead of holding it into the middle. But yeah, how do I take this right here? Let go of the gas. That was not bad actually. Not bad. That was, see what I mean by kind of power sliding into the corner. You can just stay on the gas with that, or not fully on the gas, but you know what I mean. We go into this turn. That was pretty nice. A little, little slippery right there. I take it, I realize I take it so wide. I feel like, yeah, I shot my head right there because that one was absolutely terrible. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I knew it. Oh, and yeah, and I, I spot somebody in the distance. Let's see how fast I catch up to him. Let's see how fast I catch up to him. So he's going, yeah, so he's, that's crazy. I took those turns so fast and look, he's just there. And he's kind of he's slammed on his brakes for some reason. I do not know why, which kind of caused me to flop up. You know, but that, that could have been the best lap. You know what I mean? It could have been a world record in a, on the track. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. So, yeah, he's behind me. And um, I try and, try and catch up as fast as I can to the other people who are on the track, too. And I'm pretty sure... There was, there was one on my left, but he's no, oh, no way I'm gonna catch him. I don't know if there's anybody else to be honest. Oh, yeah, he's there on the right hand side. And yeah, to be honest, it was really quiet track. Really, really quiet. Nice and neat into this. Very nice, very nice. He's speeding, speeding. And realistically, it's. There's. The same. Oh, almost crashed, almost crashed. You can't use the same drive line on different carts. It's just it's it doesn't work like that. You know what I mean? The first few laps you need to get hold of hold of um, hold of your cart, see how it feels, what it's uh, what it don't like and what it likes, and then you just correct, and then you just have that one hot lap where you push it. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, with people with like the professional carts and stuff, they have that one cart. You know what I mean? They've they know what it's capable of, and uh, you know what I mean. It, I, I say it's probably easier for them when they have their own car. You know what I mean. But obviously, I'm I'm not at that stage just yet, just yet. But uh, yeah, we take it very fast around here. Um, that was very nice, very very nice. How do I take this? Very good. That was very nice. So um, nice and neat down here. That was actually pretty good. Pretty good sector to be honest. 
How do I take this off? This determines it. Slide, yep. Lost quite a lot of power in that. So one downfall, I'll have a good sector and then have a bad sector. I mean that was a very good turn, Romelo, very good turn. You know, I'm not gonna lie, racing when there's barely any people is quite depressing. You know what I mean? Especially when you're doing good, you want as much people as possible to see, you know what I mean? But yeah, in the next race, staff members involved and you know, your boy still pulled off an amazing, amazing day. So yeah, I'm getting quite the hang of um, that corner with this car right now. So I can't remember what car it was, I think it was car 21. So yeah, um, if you do go to the team sport karting in Birmingham, <laughs> just bear in mind, Kart 21 is bloody powerful, but just doesn't like to turn. <laughs> Wasn't so bad. If it also, if you do see any like habits I'm doing that are like bad habits, just do let me know in the comment section because I'm always up for improving, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah. One thing that I kind of do see is that I feel like I go too smooth into the corners, like I'm driving a natural car. I mean, you kind of need to be, oh, I hit the side there, that stung, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it right now, but um, yeah, um, I feel like I need to be more sharp into the corners, more quick, you know what I mean, but can't do it for all corners. I wasn't so bad, a little bit shaky. catching up to somebody over there don't know who it was but we caught up that was quite wide but you know yeah that, that was definitely wide but I don't think we lost that much power on the, on the exit to be honest so I guess it wasn't that bad once I, saw, once I see someone in my vision it's literally my mission to catch up to them and um, I'm pretty sure I do catch up to them quite fast actually And the oh, had a quick correction last second. Oh, that whole line uh, down that ramp was terrible, absolutely terrible. But as you can see, yeah, I am not catching up to him because he's only just passing me right there. So, um, it's a sign I'm improving, but yeah, I'm messing up at the same time, you know what I mean? I'm not focusing. I had to sort my visor out because it was getting bloody steamy. <laughs> I've got to bring my um, the thing that you put on your head before you put the helmet on. I've got to bring that. So uh, yeah, I was kind of struggling, so I had to have the helmet like a, I'd say about a quarter up. But it's crazy to be honest, because on some days these cars will feel fast. I know, turn like bloody Formula One cars, and then there's some days when they feel like this. And look at that. Catch up to the pack straight away, three of them. See how I get down. They're just there. Uh, it excites me, you know what I mean? But yeah, um, these cards, they do not bad for my knees, to be honest. But um, once I go start driving my car back home, you know, I kind of do feel it. And it you know what? When I do drive back home, it still puts me in that race mode of me feeling like I'm still in a go kart, but obviously I need to snap out of it, you know what I mean? Because obviously, you can't mess around on the real streets. So uh, yeah, here we go, straight down, pedal to the metal, and they're right there, right there, so I'm trying my hardest to get there as fast as possible. I take that corner quite wide, but there's one, there's two, there's three, and to be honest, in the video, they looks like, it looks like they're going so slow and I'm going so fast, but in reality, you know what I mean, we're all going at the same pace, but you know what I mean. I'd really love to see yeah, all these cars are, uh, at this um, place in a drag race. You know, what I mean, if you just put them, people wait pretty much the same, and you just went go straight line. I would like to see which car is the fastest. I'm not gonna lie, I'd say this car is, but the one downfall is that like, you just can't turn. It struggles, but yeah, we catch up to the pack straight away. And um, when it comes to overtaking. You know, your boy is on the aggressive side, really aggressive side. But I take it wide because I know he's going to come. I 
I mess up like that, which causes me to um, obviously overtake him like that. I had to take it wide. Oh, and here we go. I'm catching up to him. I don't know if we actually overtake him though. That's a. Oh, that's a mystery actually. I can't remember. But we do catch up to him pretty quick there. But he goes on the defensive side, and I kind of. I'm watching his movements, but at the same time, I'm. How can I put it? I'm not watching my movements. <laughs> You see what I mean? So I'm watching his habits and it's kind of turned into my habits. So like that corner there, I took it way too slow. And I check a flag, I'm pretty sure it's there. So I tried my hardest to see if I can overtake him within the last few corners. And um, he does this weird turn right here. But he goes wide and thinks I'm not going to cut him side. He knows I'm behind. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, I was like, you know what, I hear it too. I just can't be bothered. I cannot be bothered. So, uh, yeah, I left my visor up to get a bloody breathe of air because I, I just couldn't, I couldn't breathe, couldn't breathe for most of the race. It was hot. But yeah, man, um, definitely need, need some new gear. I need that bloody rib protector thing, man. But they're expensive, man. They really are. But I do get sore ribs after a thingy, man. But I feel like once I keep going, I feel like I get used to it. Or I just go no. Or just, I don't mean, know, I would just build up muscle there. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that was it for the first race. And um, you only get a few minutes of the the next race due to the fact that obviously um, I just basically the go the GoPro just cut out. I couldn't do nothing. But yeah, people on the right hand side were the staff members. And um, yeah, in this, you know, we only had a few minutes or so, but. We got some pretty nice overtakes. I can't remember how many people overtook in the space of a few minutes, but um, yeah, it was. Um, I'm pretty sure the same guy in cart 19 in front of me, and uh, I had a different cart this time. This cart was sexy. Cart number five, beautiful, handled nice, but it was on less on the power side, you know what I mean? So um, yeah, this cart really had. It was completely different. Start right there, you know what I mean? Nice into this, and we're off. Let's see how fast we catch up. Um, the staff members on there were they were quick, but as a, yeah, like again, I was I was just quicker. You know what I mean? I was getting used to the car, and then I'm looking down, and I'm like, wait, look at like I can turn. You know what I mean? I was always having to think twice about turning in the corners of um, the previous car, but it just felt really nice, and I caught up straight away, taking it wide. It wasn't so bad. I kind of skidded. Loss of power, shut my head, I could feel it. There we go. And um, I don't know what happens here, but he kind of was like, you know, just move out my way. So yeah, he was out of our way pretty quick, and um, it was literally just me and him, neck and neck. And uh, obviously, right there, I could have just went bloody, you know, in front of him, but yellow flag. So um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was like yellow flag the whole way through, or I'm pretty sure I caught him right at the end when it was green, due to the fact that obviously he spun the guy out. So. Yeah, we went pretty fast when we wasn't meant to. You know what I mean? Because I wasn't trying to let him out of my sight. You know what I mean? So I just kept on him. So I let him go in front a little bit. You know what I mean? Show that I'm slowing down. I'm right, right on him. I'm waiting for him. I know my reactions are going to be way faster than him. And right here, green. And I was literally there. I was already there. You know what I mean? So made one mess up and I was right there and I did a, a beautiful overtake on the outside I see he was there and I just came on the inside and you know I was gone thanks to the bloody handling of that car man it just helped me big time so yeah um, down to the last few seconds of the clip and to be honest I don't think nothing else happened here but obviously I'll be definitely recording more and I just clipped you know what that was the most painful one I, only, I thought that after but that was the most painful one right there so um yeah, that was right to the end of the clip, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy this go karting video because I'm not like it was fun, you know what I mean? And uh, they're quick, they're quick to edit as well because obviously there's no mistakes going on, you know what I mean? Probably have to cut out a few music videos whilst we're waiting in the pits, but yeah, that was it, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit.